In this series, we've considered just a few of the studies that probe the differences between writing versus typing. And let's be perfectly clear, a pen and a keyboard are both very important on your computer, as is voice, touch, camera, and any other input method. But pressing buttons on a keyboard is a simple mechanical process, whereas writing and drawing with a pen involves spatial planning, fine motor skills, vision, and a whole host of sensory and physical coordination activities. And all of that adds up to deeper processing. When note-taking in classes, lectures, at meetings, and at conferences, using a pen leads to better outcomes, such as the ability to remember more, even without the need for a vision, more processing and understanding, maintaining better focus and attention. The studies highlight a number of reasons for this. Firstly, you tend to take less verbatim notes with a pen, since you probably can't keep up with the speaker. You're forced to process and summarize when you're taking longhand notes. Second, because writing involves much more sensory input and motor activity, more of the brain is active. When you write, you're automatically planning the space of each letter, word, sentence, moving the fingers, the hand, the arm, and the body to form the characters. And visually monitoring and signposting as you go, this puts your brain into the optimal learning mode, enhancing your memory and your processing. And lastly, with so much of your brain and body in gear and switched on, you naturally find that your focus is sharper, meaning that you're less likely to doze off and daydream. Using a pen is also best for problem solving, generating ideas, creating things and collaborating with others. That's because with a pen, you work in a low formality way. Your writing might be messy, but that's actually the point. With handwriting, nobody expects it to be perfect. It's expected that it's not the finished product. It's just an idea. And that's even true of your own perception. When you write, you're not likely to be worried about spelling and grammar. When you type, you spend a lot of time correcting mistakes, rewording things, and focusing on format. These things are important, just later in the process. With a pen, you work in a visual space. Visual and spatial processing is better for ideas. They don't call it big word thinking. It's called big picture thinking for a reason. And just like note taking, working on problems and ideas with a pen stimulates activity across wider regions of the brain, putting more gray matter to work and training your focus. Presenting with a pen is also better because your audience listens to you. If you present graphics, text and pictures only, People read and focus on your slides. They don't listen to you. But if you develop your ideas with a pen, your audience will follow you along. It also gives people time to take their own notes. And because they are taking notes, your audience follows along, stays awake and pays attention. Also, your presentation can incorporate feedback and take a different direction when it's relevant to the audience. Research suggests that your brain mirrors activity that you observe. So presenting with a pen generates similar sensory motor brain activity in the audience. So it's likely that just seeing a presentation given with a pen leads to better memory and processing, even without taking notes. You've heard of death by PowerPoint, right? Well, using a pen in your PowerPoint presentation is literally the opposite. It's life by PowerPoint. And by the way, there are several reasons that a digital pen is even better than a physical pen for all of these tasks. It's a much more visual medium, so you can switch color and style in an instant. It's like having one of those huge multicolor pens, but better. You can combine your writing and drawing with digital images and documents. You have an unlimited space, so you never run into arbitrary edges and borders. You can cut and paste without scissors and glue, and you can instantly erase without fuss. You're using digital storage, so you never run out of space. You can search through your handwritten notes. You can convert notes to text instantly if you need to. And you can share or send a copy instantly too. You can collaborate without boundaries, so you don't have to be in the same room or share the same space. And you can collaborate with people who in the past, they wouldn't have been included because you relied so much on physical pens and paper and whiteboard. And by the way, professors Oviatt, Vandermeer, Vanderweel, and Santon all conducted their research with 
digital pen and paper specifically. I know many people get nostalgic about pen and paper, and that has its place. When I was very young, we had my mum's typewriter at home, and we used to play on it. I remember dad even bringing home one of those fancy electric typewriters with automatic correction. Some very famous and prolific writers never gave up on the typewriter. But sending type letters in the mail was inefficient. Word processing and email, whether you like them or not, have made it possible to do things that we couldn't have dreamed of 35 years ago. And digital technologies like the cloud, video conferencing, and modern devices have made work far more efficient, creative, fulfilling, and global than ever before for many, many people. Is it time for you to apply that same digital leverage that you did with the typewriter to pen and paper? The studies that we've discussed clearly show that the benefits are not locked in the pen and paper itself, but the physiological and neurological activities that go with them. Therefore, they can be leveraged in a digital world. So the research shows that using a pen on your computer leads to better memory, deeper thinking, problem solving, creativity, collaboration, ideation, and presentation. The question is, how do we get started? As we've seen through the research, the act of typing on a keyboard is a simple mechanical process that easily transferred from typewriters to computers. It still took a few decades to become mainstream though. Transferring from pen and paper is less simple, but still possible and with a far greater upside. And the upside, by the way, is not efficiency. It's far more than that, it's possibility. The next videos will deal with note-taking in meetings, and classes, developing ideas personally, problem solving and ideating with a group, and lastly, presenting with digital ink. We're going to look at how you can apply this science to practical skills on your digital pen device. So tune in next Wednesday to get started with some meeting and class note-taking ideas. Actually generate similar sensory motory, sensory motory. I knew this was going to be hard.